Engineers promised results at this deadly intersection right after the latest crash that killed a grandmother and her three young grandchildren. But tonight, two weeks later, still nothing has changed here. And as Amanda Castro shows us, family members are asking why not and what's it going to take? Families of the victims gathering here today as the memorial grows bigger. But if you look, the roadway looks about the same as it did almost two weeks ago when that fatal crash took the lives of a grandmother and her three grandchildren. The state says it's going to fix this deadly intersection, but these people say something needs to be done now. Cars speed by the growing memorial as time slowly passes each day. The flowers, balloons, and ribbons, a reminder of the lives lost earlier this month. Everybody keeps saying you'll get over it. I'm never going to get over it. The deadly crash triggering immediate results. FDOT says its long term solution is to build a roundabout. That will take 10 months. And for the time being, they're going to put in a temporary light, all to make this deadly intersection safer. But the families of the victims say it's taking too long. There's got to be something that they can do to slow people down in this area to keep this from happening again. Emotions running high at the rally. You know who? Brendan, well, you stop gonna pull it. Something on me, bro? The families still coping with their loss as they called on drivers to slow down, pay attention, and released balloons in their loved one's memory. So we just uh, we're sending our love up with them, and uh, we just need results out here uh, now. Hoping to get something done here on the ground sooner rather than later. And I want the city, the state, whoever to put something up now. I don't want anyone ever feel what we're feeling again. In Deland, Amanda Castro, News 6. And we spoke to FDOT to find out when that temporary light will be put up. We're told that crews are working to install the signals as soon as possible, which is what they've been telling us for two weeks now.